by looking at your living space, your room for example, an experienced feng shui practitioner, he can tell you the current state of your life. Again, nothing to do with religion, no black magic, no Chinese voodoo. Hello everyone, welcome back to Good Feng Shui Good Life. My name is Vimin Lai. Now in the last video, we took a look at what are the very basics of Feng Shui. Now let's continue our journey. As humans, we are three-dimensional beings, three-dimensional creatures, meaning that we live in a three-dimensional world. In a more mathematical sense, our world, we have three axes the X, the Y, and the Z axes. The three axes is what gives us this physical form. Now, for something to happen to you, you need to be at a certain place at a certain time. For something good to happen to you, you need to be at the right place at the right time. You know, there goes the saying, at the right place at the right time. Feng Shui, is the study of these three major elements you the subject time and also space one quick example let's say you would like to see the peach blossom the sakura in japan you know the sakura season is usually in the early part of the year during springtime somewhere around march or april but somehow you got the ticket in the middle of winter. Now, if you fly to Japan in the middle of December, do you think you're gonna see the Sakura bloom? Probably not. Now, the main reason we learn and practice Feng Shui is so that we can do our best to create positive vibrations, good vibes, to maximize our chances of us being at the right place at the right time. But how do we actually do that? You know what? The answer actually lies within this. This is the yin yang, the symbol that encompasses the way of the universe. This simple symbol, it contains a lot of information. It tells us how the universe works. This symbol actually contains many, many layers of information. Again, it's nothing to do with religion, no black magic, no Chinese voodoo. Okay, let me um, do a little bit more explaining. Now you can see the white part, the yang, stands for the day, while the black stands for the night. And the world is always in a balanced state. Half the world is always uh, experiencing daylight and the other half is experiencing nighttime. The white represents men, the black represents women. Men and women complement each other. Human race cannot exist, cannot sustain without the other. In the context of a year, the white part is the hottest time of the year, symbolizes summer, while the black is winter while spring and autumn at the site. Now the four seasons gives each of the five elements its own time to shine. Now I'll talk about the five elements uh, in a future video. That will be a topic all by itself. You know, by mastering the five elements, we actually master a whole big chunk of Chinese culture. Spring it's a time where wood starts to grow. Now, summer is the hottest time of the year. Fire at work. Towards the end of summer, the earth will have absorbed enough sunlight and nutrients to nurture crops. In autumn, the fields will turn gold, the color of metal as the crops mature and ripen. Then, winter. This is the time where the water element is the strongest. All these things, they move in a natural sequence, from left to right, from up to down. 
in a clockwise orientation. Just like the sun, it always rises in the east. That's just the way of nature. Now, everything works best when there's harmony. If the balance is tipped in any shape or form, the chi flow will be disrupted. You are what you eat. This is what people say when looking at someone's appearance and comparing it with what they eat. Do you know that that also applies to feng shui? By looking at your living space, your room for example, an experienced feng shui practitioner, he can tell you the current state of your life. In the last video, I told you to look at the northern sector outside your house. Now this week, let's take a look at what's in the northern sector inside your house. By looking inside of your house, we can pick up important information on what's currently going on in your life. Now let's try this out. What I want you to do is try to find the center point of your room or your living room. Use a magnetic compass if you have one. All right, stand in the middle of the room and find the northern sector. If you don't have a compass, just use your smartphone. Okay, preferably if you can use this because uh, it's much more accurate and smartphones, they are prone to magnetic in interference and stuff like that. Find the northern sector. What is in the northern sector? If there are objects such as mechanical clocks, mirrors, or metal ornaments, things like coins, bells, congratulations! Chances are 2020 is pretty smooth sailing for you. Help and support just seem to come out from nowhere. You know, you didn't ask for them and they just come pouring in. However, if there are objects like a painting of a, a painting or a photo of a mountain, rock ornaments, uh, ornaments that are made from stone, chances are 2020 might not be the best year for you. It's not so great. And then there's also a chance that you might suffer you know, memory loss. You might be extra forgetful if there are earth element objects placed in the northern sector of your living space. Now, if there is a construction site outside the northern sector of your house, 2020 must have been really stressful for you. It's sort of like a double whammy. If that is really the case, and what I said is really happened to you, do not panic. Here's what you should do. First of all, remove all the rock-themed photos or ornaments or objects that are made from stones. Uh, move it away from the northern sector and put it in the west or the northwest sector. This is one of the ways to fix that problem. In future videos, I'll be slowly covering all the aspects of how to create good feng shui and also explain the theory and the thinking behind each move so that we truly understand what's going on. And thank you again for making it this far into the video. Like and subscribe to our channel to receive latest updates on our latest feng shui videos. Let us know in the comments on what topics you want us to cover more about. And stay tuned for the next video as we will be talking about the Bagua, the evolution of the yin yang, the foundation of Chinese metaphysics. It's gonna be exciting. Thank you again for checking out Good Feng Shui Good Life, where we give you good feng shui tips at your fingertips. I'm Vimin Lai. Bye bye.